state visualization is also another uh, approach that can analyze the data and also present data uh, very efficiently. Uh, so because our human brain can process uh, those visual signals uh, faster than just looking at those tables and numbers. So we can understand uh, the data by just visualizing the data. And also ArcGIS Pro has some features that are uh, very excellent data visualization functions that in ArcGIS Pro, so comparing to the ArcMaps, the, uh, the old uh, GRS uh, products. Uh, so there are several very commonly used uh, data uh, visualizations or the charts and also the other visualization are kind of variations of those visualization. Uh, so the first one that we use a lot is called histogram. So histogram is a one is one visualization that to, sh to show the statistical distribution of a single variable. Okay, so distribution of a single variable. So normally the x representing the range of the values and also the y representing the occurrence the occurrence of the data values. So in specific range. Uh, so here we can see that the price that within this range we have 12 records. Okay, so the, we can see that the most records are in this range. And also we have about nine records that uh, in this range. So 400,000. And we also have an outlier. Okay. And on the second chart, we can see again, so we have uh, some data that most data are in this range. And also we do have a few records that are in this range. Okay. So histogram is is a great tool, a great um, choice that if we want to see the statistical distribution of a single variable or of a single feature or single column. The next one that we use a lot is called a uh, box plot. So box plot can be used to compare the dis, uh, statistical distribution of multiple variables. And also it can give us the percentile summary of the data. Okay, so if you want to compare the distribution among among many variables, then box plot is is my um, uh, best choice. Uh, so here, let's uh, see what does each uh, marker on the scatter plot uh, box plot mean. So first, the central line is indicate the position of the median value. Okay, remember it is a median value, not the mean value. So it is median value. <clears throat> and the upper and also lower part of those box indicate the value of the upper quartile. Um, so 25 of the data greater than this value and also lower quartile. So 25 of the data less than this value. And those short lines indicate the maximum values and also minimal values. Uh, here, pay attention that those maximum values and the minimum values does not count the outliers. Okay, so they don't count those outliers. So uh, those maximum values and those minimum values are not the biggest values because without counting the outliers. So the outliers are defined here if they are more than uh, two by divided by three times of the upper quantile or less than this value. So if you have value that is within this range, that is considered outliers. And so the data that great, so you do have data that are greater than maximum values or smaller than the minimal values on box plot. So here we have uh, an example. We show us three variables that on the box plot, we can see the first one has a median value. The second one, the yellow one has the highest median value and also the red one has the lowest median value. And you can also see that the red ones, the data are more concentrated and the yellow ones, the data are more scattered because you can see the uh, for the red ones, the, the box is uh, smaller than the 
than a yellow one. We can also see that uh, for the red ones, they have a lot of outliers. Okay, and also blue one also have some sm uh, small outliers, a few outliers. And the yellow one has the highest maximum value and also the highest minimum value. Okay, so that is what we can tell from um, this scatter plot. So it's used to compare the distribution among many variables. The next also very commonly used one uh, visualization is called a uh, scatter plot. So scatter plot is used to show the relationship between two variables so that um, it's another way that you, you can compare the relationship. So you can either calculate the cor cor um, correlation coefficient or you can create a scatter plot and show the relationship of two continuous variables. Uh, so here we can see that um, this is a scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables and clear, clearly we can see there is a nonlinear strong positive relationship. Okay, nonlinear strong positive uh, relationship. So um, scatter plot is far way better than just calculating the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient only assume a linear relationship, okay, and we cannot tell that how big the relationship is. Um, however, if we create a scatter plot, then the relationship is more obvious than just calculate the correlation coefficient. So data visualization is a very efficient way to explore the data and also to present your data. The last, the next common um, chart is called line chart. So line chart is just used to show the trends of variables. It is used to show the temporal properties of the variables. So normally the X will show the time and also the Y will show the values of the variables. So here we are looking at the unit price um, over multiple years and here we can see that there's a peak uh, in 1930 probably in 1930 and also there's another peak uh, in 1970 and and the price is uh, become uh, has becoming is become stable after uh, 2000 okay so that is line chart so line chart normally shows a temporal variation of a variable the bar graph is, is also pretty simple and also very common. So bar graph is used to show the values in different categories. So we just used to compare the values. And just remember that it is a one dimensional object. So the bar width has no meaning. Okay, so we just look to compare the height of those bars or the length of those bars. So here we can see that now we have three variables. The first one has the highest value. The second one and also third one have uh, relative the same amount of the value. So the value are the same, almost the same. Okay, so the bar graph is used to show to compare the different values. So it is still faster than just looking at the numbers. The last one that I want to talk about is a pie graph. So pie graph is a variation of the bar graph. Uh, so instead of using the lens, so pie graph use the area or the size, the two dimensional size uh, to, to compare the values in different categories. OK, uh, so for pie graph, we should use different type of colors. OK, um, so do not use a single type of color or do not use a single hue. So hue means um, one specific type of color. Uh, we will talk the hue in the color theory later this semester. So for pie graph, do not use a single hue, but use different hue or different type of colors. The second uh, thing that keep in mind for pie graph is that pie graph is actually not recommended. And that is because pie graph, um, we need to compare the area. So that is two dimensional visual uh, signals 
and human tend to underestimate the two-dimensional signals. So, pad graph itself actually is not recommended.